Hello everyone. This story is called Grow and Flourish. A father saw his 11-year-old son was crying silently. He walked over and he asked him, What's the matter, son? And the young boy replied, I have rich classmates. They've been mocking me, father. They, they call me the son of a gardener. They say that my father lives only on the money he earns from watering and feeding the plants for other people. The father paused for a moment and then he said, Come with me, son. Let's plant some flowers. It might cheer you up. He held out his hand and he walked his son to the garden. Then he took out some flower seeds and he said, Let's say we carry out a little experiment. We'll each plant two flowers separately. I will care for one and you will care for the other. Now I'm going to water mine with clean water from the lake over here on the other side of the yard. But you will water yours with the dirty water from that pond at the back fence. And we're going to see the outcome in the weeks to come. Now the young son was delighted as he joined his father in planting flowers. He really loved to watch his dad work. And he especially liked being able to help him. It took them some days to finally germinate the flower seeds. Then they proceeded to care for them. The father respe respectively cared for his while the son cared for his. And they watched him grow. Now later on, the father brought his son back to the garden and he said to him, I want you to look at the two flowers and tell me your observations, son. The boy responded, Why, father, my flower looks better and healthier than yours. How is that even possible when your water is cleaner? And the father smiled and then said, That's because dirty water doesn't stop a plant from growing. Rather, it serves as organic fertilizer to help it flourish. You see, son, there are some people out there who will put you down in life. They'll mock your dreams. They'll throw dirt on you. But you need to always remember, there's nothing wrong with you. It is their ego that they're trying to stroke and satisfy. So don't let the harsh words from pe other people affect you. Instead, let it encourage you into becoming a better person. And in doing so, you'll be like the flower that you've grown. You will flourish even in the midst of dirt like negativity, harsh words, and other people's wrong egos. Now, you just remember, you have a Father in Heaven who loves you as much as I do. And He'll help you to grow just like your flower grow. Now, let's stop and let's get serious today, folks. And let's decide to learn a skill and everything. You know, you, you want to learn a skill that you can water and grow with. Yet, it will be relevant in the years to come. The young boy learned a lesson from his father about how to take and turn the, the negative into the positive. He learned that it didn't matter what anybody had to say about him or anything else. The only thing that mattered was what the young boy's father thought of him and what his father in heaven thought of him. And we folks need to remember, it's what all that matters is what our father in heaven thinks of us. He's the one we have to satisfy, and he's the one that brings us love and joy and peace. Because if it wasn't for God's grace, we would never know joy and happiness. Let's be like this young boy. Let's learn a new skill today and let's learn from our, all the negativity that people is feeding us and let's use it to grow and be a better person. Y'all have a blessed day.